So in the last episode, we have refactored various things. And now let's work on the front end part of the OTP verification. So let's go to tests feature and verify OTP. So here I will create a new test. And this test is like user can see uh, OTP verify page. Obviously, we need uh, some uh, form where user can fill the OTP. So this is like we have a logged in user. So let's copy that from here. Then this particular user will go to get uh, get request, then verify OTP the same route, but with a get request. And when he will go to this route, then we will say assert status of 200. So this is good. So let's run it. And because it says method not allow exception because this method is not there. So let's go and actually create a method for get request. So if I run this now, the test once more, it says 201 received because here on the verify, we are actually verifying, which is not the ideal case. So we can say uh, show verify page or verify form maybe. So let's go to verify controller and let's create a new function. And it's not going to do anything, just going to return a view of let's say otp otp dot verify is that okay so let's once more run the test and this time it says that where is that it's saying otp verify not found obviously we don't have that so let's create very uh, resources views and we need a file inside otp folder but the name of the file is verify dot blade.php so this is good and inside this we have here so if we run it yes it is passed but we are not doing anything so once more we can say if we go to this point then yes the status has to be this one but then assert that uh, enter your otp so it will be like assert to see and we have to remove this to get the suggestions so assert c uh, enter otp simple so we need to see this one so if i run this it's going to fail because we don't have anything inside the blade file so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy everything from home.blade.php and paste it here and here the card dashboard is enter otp this is good if i run the test once more you can see the test passes so this is good this means and now i can go to chrome and here i can go to the base url and let's go to home which is not uh, taking me to home because we have middleware which is protecting so here come a new thing we don't want to redirect to the base url we just want to redirect to this verify otp page so let's open our two-factor authentication middleware and we will say if it is not verified then redirect to slash verify otp so let's run it and yeah we are here so we just need a form here so instead of this inside this card we can create a form and form firstly we need csrf token so csrf and now we need a label and actually we can create a div of form group because we are on bootstrap then we can say label is for uh, otp and here we can say uh, your otp simple then input field input field is here which is like text and name of this is again otp id is otp just for label and the important part which is class of form request okay so let's see how it's going to look good so it's not form uh, it's not form request it's form control uh, yes it is good and now one 
uh, one uh, what we call it <laughs> one button so one submit button so submit button and we call it uh, value is verify uh, verify so how about this yeah good but I think that has to be outside yeah this is good and now let's give the class of btn btn info my favorite one yeah it is good so this is nice and if we submit it yeah it will submit to where submit to slash verify otp and method is obviously the post and make sure this is required okay so yes it is done and now we just want to verify that so what we can do I just log out from here and verify that yes is verified is zero go to mail trap and empty out everything else from here yes and let's log in so start the cat bit fumes secret and yes it will do something that means it will get the it will send the otp we have the otp here we will get the otp paste it here verify and it's not doing anything you know why because on our controller on our verify controller we are returning response so instead of response let's say redirect to home okay so maybe if i refresh it yeah i am on home i can access it and this means if i go to database and verify is one this is the way you can verify any user from its otp so this is very nice and let's run that all the tests so to verify that everything is working or not no we have two failures so let's just see what are the failures we have so one is on uh, this one so let's verify otp test verify otp test so let's run it and this is uh, 201 received 302 obviously we have changed it re to redirect so instead of 201 let's say 302 so run it yeah it is passed and next is login test inside this login test if the user is not verified then it will not go to uh, base url it will go to verify otp url so let's run it everything is good all tests are passing everything is fine and we have successfully done the email verification otp verification part so this is very nice and obviously you can <laughs> you can manipulate these things you can give a click here button which will take the user to that verify otp page and that will be good so we will do all these things from the next episode we will start the sms verification and some of other refactors and if you have liked this episode don't forget to share these videos with your friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye